We are at the Nordic Semiconductor Stand here at Embedded World 2023, and we're looking at the Thingy 53. Now, you'll have seen this before if you've been watching our channel for a while. This is one of Nordic's wonderful little boxes that combines a bunch of sensors with some pretty clever stuff. This one specifically connects via BLE and Thread and a bunch of other protocols, but it is also very well designed to be used with machine learning and edge AI. Now, I'm here with Robin, who's going to take us through exactly what's happening in this example. Yeah, so we're showing the machine learning on the Thingy 53 sample. And the most, the basic sample that comes flashed on the thing is uh, half of the demo. So I can just start my inferencing on the phone and you see the thingy reacts. It starts, uh, it starts its machine learning algorithm. Uh, if I do different kind of motions like up and down, or uh, it recognizes me up, moving it up and down and it writes the output over Bluetooth to the, to the phone. Uh, and the reason that we did this is because machine learning used to be very hard to get into for embedded devices. There's a lot of upfront um, hardware and firmware integration that needs to be done. And what we wanted to do is to make this whole process simpler. So we partnered up with Edge Impulse, which is really, uh, they are really good at making embedded ML models and making it easy for people to make ML models but we wanted to make it easy to get like the data from like an actual embedded device up into the cloud and then also to get, have models that are fully trained in the cloud and get them back into an embedded device and actually running them on this device. Um, so what we made is the Thingy 53 with the, all its built-in sensors that has a Bluetooth connection to a phone and it, with one click of a button, you start, in, you start sampling on a sensor and it relays all the sensor data to a phone straight up into the cloud where you can use Edge Impulse's beautiful web interface to build a fully trained ML model. And when this ML model is trained, you, uses, you use the phone's internet connection to download it down into the phone and it flashes over the air to the thingy. And then the full model is on the thingy. Uh, so when you start inferencing, all of the, all of the algorithms are running on this tiny device, there is no need for an internet connection or a Bluetooth connection for that sake. The only thing the phone is used for in this demo is to basically the thing is sends the word snake when it recognizes me doing this or it sends the word up and down when it recognizes me doing this or it sends the word wave over Bluetooth to the phone when it recognizes me doing this. So all the machine learning is running on the thingy. Uh, and we could take a look at how easy it is to actually collect a machine learning sample. Um, I made one of these motion recognition samples uh, in about an hour. And the way I did it was that I just started inferencing uh, on the data acquisition tab here. Uh, so you can do this either on the big screen or you can do it directly on your phone uh, using the phone's Wi-Fi or LTE connection. You don't even need to be close to a PC for, to do it. Um, but you can record new data. So if I want to make a new sensor sample, I can select my thingy here. Uh, this, is the, this is the address of this thingy that's standing right here. Uh, I can put a label on it and pr preferably this label should be the word that you want to be recognized. So this is what is actually recognized. Uh, so let me, for instance, use the microphone and I can just click start sampling. And when I click start sampling, the, the online platform sends a message to the phone over the internet and the phone sends a message to the thing over the internet to start collecting data. Uh, so I want to take, I don't need five seconds to say my name, but it's so hard with inputs. So <laughs> I'll start sampling. You see it counts down on the thingy and then it starts sampling. So Robin. And now I have sampled my name into the thingy. Uh, we will have to wait the full five seconds before it shows up. Uh, but yeah, now it's, uh, this is a different one. This is an accelerometer one. Uh, it's still sampling. It's the five seconds is longer than you think. Um, now it's finished sampling. So let's see if we get the, uh, the sensor sample up here. Uh, maybe it takes a little time to actually send it. 
Or maybe five seconds is a lot longer than you think when you're standing here. Okay, now it's finished sampling at least. Uh, this is still the motion. Uh, sampling finished, data uploaded. Oh yeah, it is this one. <laughs> it's just been here for a long time. Yeah, so this is the waveform, an analog waveform of... I guess it's basically the background noise. My voice just didn't get very clearly through, even though I screamed it into the thingy. Uh, and the thing that makes this so simple is that you can... You don't need to take one and one sample. You can use the web platform to automatically just cut out the pieces you want. So when I made my motion recognition sample, I, I took about 20 minutes of raw data and built my model on it. But I took that, all that raw data for each of the different motions I wanted it to recognize. I took them in, in one go for each of them. So I, I wanted it to recognize a circle. So I just sat with the thingy and did like this with the thingy for five minutes in one stretch. Uh, it was painful. I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend it. Uh, take some breaks uh, once in a while to save your shoulders, uh, but uh, that sam that that uh, demo or that uh, ML model just worked perfectly every time, uh, building on that uh, on that data. So yeah, um, just as one just one last thing, I just want to kind of make the point of you've just shown us here how easy it is to actually get this thing up and running because it, it is wild to me that there is now ways to use Edge AI, which are not only understandable to people who aren't engineers, but don't even require code. Um, but there's one of the things that I think so a lot of people don't really understand when it comes to Edge Impulse. This is all completely free to use, isn't it? This is something that you can make a free account, and if you uh, buy one of these kits, all of the software and everything that you do with it, apart from the hardware itself, is all completely free to use, right? Yeah, that's amazing. Well, Robin, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for the fantastic demonstration of this. And yeah, what a wild world we live in when you can do edge AI training on hardware devices like this without any code that is this easy. It's wild. <laughs>